Duke of Loneliness. Harry shattered to pieces as his pals flatly refused tobacco proclaims. Eat and chums were silent in their support for the Duke of Sussex, whose wife benefited from more friends rallying around her following the fallout from the couple's tell-all interview with Oprah. Prince Harry was left feeling lonely following the fallout from the Oprah Winfrey interview he did with his wife Meghan Markle in March last year. With the Duke and Duchess of Sussex based in the US, Meghan was able to call upon support from her friends, but Harry didn't have people rallying around him in the same manner. He even appeared to be cold-shouldered by members of the royal family during the Sussexes' brief return to these shores earlier this month for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It is alleged that ex-England rugby player Mike Tyndall, the husband of Harry's cousin Zara Phillips, even referred to the prince as a B-end during the celebrations of the monarch's 70-year reign on the throne. In the wake of the interview, American friends of the Duchess popped up to verify that she had proof of her shocking allegations against the royal family, including actor Janine Gavanka and breakfast show host Gail King. Yet over on this side of the Atlantic, there was pretty much a wall of silence from Harry's friends, commentator Daniel Elza claimed in a column for news.com.au. All of the loudest voices are people from Meghan's side of the aisle, she said. While California native Meghan is very well connected and counts stars like the Cloanies among her pals, Harry is also known to have a wide circle of trusted chums, so their reluctance to go public with their support is startling, Ms. Elza added. Maybe this is down to Harry's friends being seasoned hands at royal mateship, knowing that integral to keeping the role is keeping vehemently shtum around the media and simply adopting a batten down the hatches, ride out the storm approach, she pondered. Surely now would be the moment for a well-placed Eaton chum or two, with permission, mind, to offer up a sympathetic interview or a quote here and there to help Brits understand what the formerly beloved British son is going through right now. And yet clearly, either Harry does not want to call on his British besties or does not see the need. Ms. Elsa went on to suggest that Harry may be a dad lonely in California, similar to what Meghan went through when she joined the royal family in 2018. Prince Harry reportedly missed his British pals after moving to Canada and is using their WhatsApp group chat more than ever to send them funny pictures and videos. An insider told The Sun that the former royal is still a member of the group chat he's been part of for years and is keeping up with his friends more than ever since he left the UK. This comes after claims Harry pushed aside some of his old friends after marrying Meghan Markle in May 2018. Harry has been in WhatsApp group with his mates for years and he uses that more than ever now to keep in touch and send pictures, the source claimed. He doesn't think being on the other side of the world means that he will lose touch with the people he has been mates with all his life. The source also claimed that Harry is constantly sending over funny pictures and videos from North America. Reports have emerged over recent years that suggest Harry and Meghan have slowly weakened ties with the prince's old crowd of drinking buddies as they drew closer to the likes of Serena Williams and George and Amal Clooney. An article published in the May 2019 issue of Tatler magazine claimed Harry had banished childhood friend Mr. Inskip, affectionately known as Skippy. The article stated, hang out with the Clooney slash Beckham slash Soho house set and be assailed for being too Hollywood, for forcing your henpecked husband to abandon his old, country set muckers, including Tom Skippy and Skip, the ultra-loyal, tight-lipped Harry pal, who, it's said, advised Harry not to marry Meghan and has paid the price, banishment.